I'm Corey Nichols, and this is my Bulldog story. I am an architecture and technology student here at Fair State University, and I couldn't be happier. But from a young age, uh, I knew that I've always lived in an abusive home, and to deal with it, I lived my life as normally as I could from middle school and on. I knew that I was struggling with my sexuality and I knew that my parents and family weren't exactly the most accepting. I talked to my mom after talking to relatives from cousins and aunts and uncles and my cousin was with me and I just sat her down in her room and I said, Mom, I'm gay. And she was completely in shock and denial, said that it wasn't true, I displayed none of the characteristics of a gay man and I, all I told her after that was just do me two favors and don't tell my brother or dad. Later that night, um, I was in my room just folding laundry and my father came in screaming and yelling and going about his rant about how his son was the devil and he can't believe he's been living with a fag for 15 years and if that anything would happen, like if this got out, that it would ruin his life. Before telling them my secret, after the graduation party, I was hungover and I contacted a girl that I took to homecoming dance my freshman year. Her name is Aubrey Forsyth. And I told her of my situation. I told her that I was gay and I needed a way out because I was so depressed. And I told her that don't be surprised they don't come to school. She said, we're gonna come get you. And I said, you guys aren't gonna come get me. Turns out that later that night, her mom, uh, Mindy, who I call my mom, they came out and got me. And so of January 19th, they, the Forsyth family legally had guardianship of me, which was a huge deal. We consider it my gotcha day at the, at my, with my family. So that was a big deal for me in my life because I could stay with them and be happy and not be forced to go back into my home. I love it. <laughs> yeah. um, it's really great because you can be who you are and you don't have the fear of um, being talked behind your back because you come here, that's who you are. Nobody can put a label on you from your past self. And so um, it's just, it's really accepting here. Unlike back at home, I know that some people are still struggling with the fact that I was this kid that uh, grew up with this family that was apparently so wonderful and everything, but then I come out as being gay and then move to another family, and that's a problem. You know, uh, I don't have to worry about that here. It's Aubrey and I here. As far as everyone knows, we are a biological brother and sister. We say that we're twins, we're so close, we're attached to the hip, we love each other, and that's the way it should be. Hopefully that my story will uh, influence younger kids to get help if they need it.